I'm here at the Parkes Radio Telescope. You can see it in the background here. This is the telescope that was used with the Apollo 11 lunar landing. Um, and it's also uh, what was featured in the movie The Dish. There are a couple of uh, facts that they actually got wrong with that movie. One was that they never actually lost contact with uh, Apollo 11. Another one was that the um, uh, that there were actually more than four people in the in the building. It was actually very busy. There were quite a few dozen people here, obviously with such a big uh, big event. Uh, another one was that they actually never lost power. Uh, an interesting fact though around that is that uh, whilst they didn't lose power, they had people ready to manually um, redirect the dish should they lose power. So it's really uh, it's really quite an interesting place if you are ever in the area in in New South Wales near Parks. Make sure you come out and see it. Uh, so today uh, I'm actually opening um, a couple of whiskies that I got uh, duty free some time ago and just haven't had a chance to open them. So what I have here is the House of Hazelwood blended Scotch whisky. Uh, this is the 21 year old. Um, and so these were, were made uh, really to, I think, um, celebrate the 1920s. Um, Jeanette Sheed Roberts, 1901 to 2012, the granddaughter of William Grant, was a true luminary in the Grant family. Her epic life influenced five generations of Grant's whiskey distilling, as demonstrated by her opening of the Caninvi Distillery. House of Hazelwood, named after her Dufton home, is a testament to the family's admiration of this remarkable woman. Uh, so a little bit more on the back. and. Um, <coughs> An exquisite range of fine, finest blended whiskies celebrating the vibrancy and elegance of the golden age of the 1920s. House of Hazelwood is conceived by master blender Brian Kinsman with true virtuosity using the floral elegance of Caninvi single malt, the lively toffee and vanilla character of Gavan single grain and further hand selected single malts from the Grant family's private ancient reserves. This vibrant 21 year old whiskey signature resides in the influences of sherry casks. Its nose is led by dried fruits and spices with hints of lingering sweetness reminiscent of rich fruit cake. A splash of water accentuates the sherry cask finish adding complexity through delicate hints of tobacco leaf. This gives way to an elegant taste of cinnamon, cloves and woody spice, ending, ending in a lingering vivaciously dry finish which is balanced to perfection. Okay, so I'm actually really looking forward to this. I've been waiting to uh, open this for some time. So um, as you can see, I haven't got a table or anything, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a balancing act. Um, just so you can see the the case so it's really got that nice 1920s design to it um, when you see me get the bottle out uh, you'll see that they've uh, they've maintained that there as well so it's just a, a plain wooden box and what you'll actually see as well is that uh, the bottle's actually just round um, and the box obviously has got uh, I don't know if you can see that, some cheeks in it there to, to just hold the bottle in place. Um, drop the box down there. So again you can see they've gone with that real 1920, 1920s style, so it's actually come up quite nicely. Now to break it open. Um, there's not really anything further on the uh, outside of the, the bottle. Um, it's a 21 year old, 40% uh, alcohol um, yeah so now let's see what we can do to get this open well, I'm not having much luck here I've managed to pick a beautiful day to uh, be visiting parks. Okay. Now that cork doesn't look like it's um, 
super tight and uh, I can actually see that uh, some of the whiskies climbed up the edges of the cork. It certainly does have that uh, nice sherry floral flavour. So put the lid down here. <coughs> Very strong on the nose, he's definitely got that sherry flavour there. And very floral as well. Very gentle spice in the mouth. Nothing that sort of uh, hits you hard fades away. Now that's very very strong sherry there I, I would have said. And a little bit of that cinnamon coming in at the back end. And that dry woody finish is coming through that's quite nice. It's a very nice whiskey. Um, go again. There's a, yeah you can get that toffee on the nose as well. And getting those hints of tobacco coming through. And a nice dry finish. I actually quite like this. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Cheers.